Let me show you something interesting. Whoa, what a strange sport, huh? This peculiar sport is called curling. And it is in fact an Olympic sport played in the Winter Olympics, to be specific. But why are the players sweeping the floor? The way curling works is that the players have to slide a large granite stone on a sheet of ice. And the objective is to make the granite stone slide to the other end. The team which slides the most stones to the other end wins. But when I try to slide this book on the table, it stops because there is a force opposing its motion. The force we call friction. The same would happen with a granite stone on this table. This is why curling is played on ice instead, as it is much easier to slide the stone on the slippery ice. But why? Is it because it's really smooth and offers less friction? Well, partly yes, but that is not the complete reason. Scientists have found that whenever we try to slide an object on top of ice, some heat is generated due to friction. And this is similar to how rubbing our hands produces heat. The heat is absorbed by the top layer of ice which melts. It results in a thin layer of liquid water between ice and the object. And this layer of water acts like a lubricant. And we all know what lubricants do, right? They reduce friction. For example, powder on carom boards. It spreads over the irregularities of the rough wood to make it smoother. Similarly, this lubricating layer of water makes this already smooth ice even more slippery. But even then, the heavy stone stops after some time. This is where the sweeping comes in. The players are sweeping the ice with these brooms and this rubbing produces even more heat due to friction. So sweeping melts a bit more of ice giving even more water, which is our lubricant here. That means the granite stone can move further now. In fact, it can travel three times more distance than it would without sweeping. Wow! So the players can reduce friction by using heat generated from friction. Looks like friction plays the hero and the villain in this game. In fact, friction is also thought to be the reason these stones spin and curve as they move. We call this curl and thus giving the game its interesting name, curling. By the way, do you know what other sports utilize friction in interesting ways? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for such smooth learning.